Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Hi, Sheila. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Hi, Ari. How are you? How's that beautiful mama? How's everybody doing today? All righty. So, just a, just a bit ago, um, Nick bought me a coffee. You know, one of the Starbucks coffees. And, um, hi, Margaret. Hi, Carol. And I said, oh, I'm going to put it in the freezer um, for 15 minutes. And then I'll take it out right before my life. Sure enough, as soon as I started, I was like, oh. My coffee and he looked at me because I asked if he could get it for me and he was like mm-hmm I told you <laughs> how are you Margaret hi Leona hi Donna Sue thank you Leona how's everybody doing hopefully you're all having a good weekend so far dang I'm all crooked I'm all crooked <laughs> he he laughed at me so he gave me that look like mm-hmm that's what I I told you, I knew you were going to forget because I told him, I said, what's happening today? Troy pulled my camera down or my computer down yesterday and now everything is combobulated. Oh, well, you guys can see that's the, the, the camera top anyway. So hi, Brenda. All right. So really quickly, you guys seen that I posted the, um, the shadow box that, I'm going to do for the next Zoom class. Um, so basically, it will be like this. Um, it's It has a light. We're going to decoupage all the way around, even on the back. I'm holding the light because I didn't attach it yet. And then we will work with some resin molds. You know what's funny, you guys, is I was thinking about putting this, doing a little um, snowman. And I realized when I took the pictures that I left him in there because obviously he's not finished. And I was like, oh, it might be cute to do a snowman. And then I realized when I took all the pictures that that was sitting in there. And I'm like, oh, duh. <laughs> Hi, Rennie. Hi, Jamie. Thank you, Donna Sue. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sue Russin. Thank you. So if you're interested in the, um, in the class, um, just let me know and I'll add you to the, it's always just the chat. It's, there's no obligation or anything by just going in the chat. It just has all the information, information. I put in a PDF file that has almost all of the supp supplies with the exception of like glues and, you know, stuff like that. Hi, Miss Edie. I, I was like, Oh my gosh. And I wasn't going to take down all of the pictures and redo the pictures all because I had him in there. I was just like, I couldn't believe I left it in there though. That's why he's not glued down or anything. Cause I thought, Oh, it might be cute to do a snowman. And then I didn't even take it out anyhow. So yes, if you're interested in, um, getting information on the class, if I haven't already invited you to the group, just message me and then I would <laughs> and I will put you into the group. Again, it's no obligation. It just gives you all the information to even see if, you know, you want to do it. The prices and everything is in there. I thought it was snowballs waiting for a fight. <laughs> Rennie, <laughs> the rest looked incredible. Yeah, I was like, hmm, I don't know about that part, but I like the rest. <laughs> That's our open to interpretation part. Oh, I need my mouse still. Okay, so let's put in my desk. So I thought today what we could do are some baubles. Um, okay, Leona, I will send you. Um, I will send you the link to the class. Um, if I don't remember, just message me. So I thought today we could do some baubles. I ordered some glass baubles, which is really crazy for me to say because I have like literally probably over 60 baubles, plastic baubles of all sizes, big, small. Oh, so, but I thought I would get some glass baubles because I thought it would be fun 
Um, so this is just a six pack that I got on um, Amazon, but you can get about Hobby Lobby. I mean, so many places, Michaels, everywhere. I thought it would be fun for us to do some of like the Opal Crackle, you know, the Opal Crackle gels. Um, do some other fun textures on here. I also, you notice that it is not, um, it is not primed with bonding primer because it's a non-porous, um, you know, bulb. So it would need bonding primer. But I do have a bunch of the Pintart um, glass paints. So I thought we could use some of that. Hi, Helena. Troy, Troy, our friend say, our, he's not even in here. He's following Nick around is what he's doing. When he comes in here, I'll tell him you guys say hi. I like that size. Right. And it's just a good, you know, size. But then I also thought what we could do is um, to make a little holder, you know, like put them in like a little box uh, as well. Like if you were going to give them as gifts. Um, what I'm just taking right now is some isopropyl alcohol because, you know, you want to make sure you get off any of the oils, you know, lotions, anything like that that are on your hands. So. Um, actually I'll take this out and I'll put a stick in there. Hi, Jill. Good evening. But I did pull out a bunch of molds. Um, I have rice paper. I have some wood you bin. So we'll find out, um, what we're going to put on these, but I thought it would be cute if, um, we did some, you know, if you want to do some gifts or something. And I'm trying to find one that's just big enough, but not too big that it's going to flop all around on me. So hold on, y'all. I guess I could have done that before. But you know me. Hold on. So how's everybody's weekend going so far? Did you guys do anything this weekend? <laughs> Hi, Sheila. Oh, Sheila. Hi, Helen. How are you? Anybody get up to anything this weekend? So we did it. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, on um, uh, this week, um, we don't have to take Trevor to mm -hmm. uh, school this mm -hmm. week, but... On Tuesday, he has the, it's a meet and greet for um, the place that he got the internship for. And he has to be there at nine o'clock in the morning. So we have to get up early anyways. But, okay. So I'm thinking for one. So let's not do these upside down. Yeah. Because you know, I probably will. So, you know, we have a bunch of like. Cozy winter ornaments. Um, we could decoupage on one. And then, like I said, I'd like to do... And I even pulled out the glass etching paste because we can do um, some glass etching as well. This one's going to be a little messier because we do have to wash it off after 15 minutes or so. So, hi, Shauna. Good. Got a lot of stuff done around here. Ooh, that's good. Hi, Beth. Troy, Troy, our friends are saying hi. Hi, Brenda. Okay, so let's start off with, I haven't used him at all. Um, and then I also pulled out these as well, but I think these are going to be a little too big for, for these bulbs, but well, that one might be okay, but let's start with this. Oh, and I also did, I pulled out a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Oh, you guys can see all the molds that are sitting right here. And then I did pull out a bunch of the IOD transfers. So we'll just have some fun and do some of, some of these on there. I am going to take my water pen for right now and just um, take out this little guy. Miss Edie, are you asking me how I'm doing or am I getting in your conversation? <laughs> I'm 
moving so much. Never know if I'm getting in the middle of people's conversations. I have been using my IOD redesign molds this week. Had a lot of fun painting the nutcrackers. Oh, I know. You know, I, I was even saying that because, um, obviously, I have the fan on, guys. Um, if you like painting, you know, I find it to be relaxing. These molds, I, and I have still yet had the time to actually paint them, like properly paint them, the nutcracker, um, the nutcrackers, all of the molds, actually. I haven't had time to like cast them and just sit and properly paint them. But Oh yeah, Beth, how are you feeling? Are you doing doing okay? Okay, so I was just trying to gauge if I took off all of the white, how how it's going to be, and it will be fine. So let's just go ahead and take off. What I meant by that, I didn't know if I had needed to take off more or if just taking off the, the white would be okay. I'm hoping that you're still not in a lot of discomfort, Beth. So, because we are putting it on the bobble, it is better to have the feathered edge. Um, you guys know that blending feathered edges are a lot easier than it would be if we cut it with the scissors. Hi, Karen. How are you? I've been looking for IOD transfers in the candy lane. And can't find it. Yeah. Uh, Miss Shauna. I know that. Um, a couple of people were trying to find them. And it was they, they were saying that they were having a hard time. You can try uh, Micah Daughters. Um, my link for her is down below. Um, you might also try uh, Mara at Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. I know the. Tracy, who I got them from, is they were gone. Um, they were already gone. How are you doing, Karen? Hi, Trace. How are you? Okay, so as always, when you're doing a curved um, surface, you are going to need to um, do a couple of tears in your rice paper. Don't worry, it's not going to affect your image. But if you do not do this, you're going to try to fight with it to lay down. So um, I'm just going to start out doing four all the way around. And then we're going to take the Vintar, 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 Decoupage varnish and glue the mat and then I'm just going to kind of start the circle in the center and then this one might be cute because he has a crown for us to put a little crown at the top of the bobble that might be fun all right I don't know that I even need this right now because I want to actually hold it so I'm going to get in here and do I want that one down first? No. Hi, Choi Choi. Our friends are saying hi and I looked for you and you were not here. So as you go around, you're going to, you know, lay it down and then put the other on top and then as you can see you avoid all of those wrinkles and because it is the rice paper it's so forgiving you won't it'll just blend seamlessly for you do you use pintart paints yes yeah most all the paints that you see me painting with daily are pent art, Elizabeth. Let's 
So you guys, um, well, most of you know, you may or may not know, um, I'm on the design team um, for the Royal Court. So um, we're the distributor in the U.S. for Pint Art. So I do have other paints, but most of the time you'll always see me using Pint Art. But I wouldn't if I didn't love it. But I also love Finnebar paints, um, which is Prima. Um, I have, you know, you guys see I use Waverly. So it just all depends. Micah doesn't have it. Yeah, see. Oh, yes. How was your craft um, show, Trees? Everything looks so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. You do amazing, amazing work. So if you can see, he's on there all nice and happy. I think what we'll do is um, we'll put some trim around him. And then on the back, let's put some of the opal gel, uh, the crackle. Right. Every time my doggone... Heat gun comes on plug. Have you ever used a magic paint? Yeah, actually it is, Jill. You are completely right. And so is Stamperia. Pint Art makes Stamperia and Finn's Finnebear stuff. So, yeah. Magic paint. Do I not know what that is? You are so very talented, Trees. That's why I think if you do, um, if you ever do do get on and do lives, you, people would enjoy it so very much. You're so talented. What are magic paints, Rainy? Troy, stop chasing her, bubs. She's running from you. Okay, so just like all of the um, crackles, except for the um, crackle medium, they are always two steps. It's the same thing with the opal crackle varnish. So let's go ahead and do that on this, and then we'll start another. Oh, wow, this is a brand new brush. Okay, well, I don't want to use that. Then we'll start another bobble. Hey, Drusilla, how are you? Okay, so we're going to get some of this step one, and I'm actually going to come mm. all the way over mm. to where mm. the paper mm. ends. Mm. 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 How did you get that out of there, son? I had that in there so tight. There you go. And we'll put this on all the way onto the back side as well. And then we'll pull out another bobble and start working on that one. Do some different stuff to that one. So I don't know if you guys have seen the, um, the opal crackle or the opal gel, but it gives a very, very printed, pretty effect. All right, let's go ahead and stick the brush back in there and then do the bottom half here. Now these, um, the glass, these glass bobbles are very, very thin glass. So just be careful when you're doing, you know, the heat gun or you're actually holding it. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it up around. I really do think this one's going to be so cute if we put one of the small um, crowns at the top of this. All right. So I'm going to stick this in my holder here. And then, guys, don't let me forget that I need to put step two on there. 
God bless you, son. Okay, so let's pull out another one. You are using opal gel. I'm using the opal. Um, this is the opal gel. I didn't use this one yet. I'm using the opal crackle varnish, which is a two-step um, as well. Most um, all of our crackles are two-step except for the crackle medium, which is what I used on the candlestick. The other day. Okay, so let's see. On this one, I also did pull out like some galaxy flakes because I think it would be really pretty to make like a shaker out of some of these. Not a shaker, but you know, put shakeums and stuff in there. Um, since that one did have the varnish on there, we still. I just took this one out of the box, so we need to clean this one as well, especially now that I've got the crackle varnish on there. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Sonia. Sonia. Sorry. I was think, looking at your last name and tried to combine it all at once. All right. So I'm just going to get that opal varnish off that was on that. So on this one, I think what I want to do on this one is use one of the smaller ones, like maybe the little cardinal, because I'd like to put um, like a frame mold around it. So I pulled out, as you can see, I have quite a few molds that I've pulled. So we'll put a smaller one on here. We can use the cardinal, the little house, or the Santa which I don't know if you guys realize, but this Santa, he's only available on the winter ornaments. Um, there isn't a single rice paper, just him. So let's do, since we have the other bird. What'd you lose now, bud? <laughs> George Roy has been losing stuff today and he's been getting mad. <laughs> At me, like I'm hiding it. What'd you lose now, buddy? You carry everything around with you and then you put it down. Sonia Sutton, yeah. I was, as I was reading it, I went to kind of, I combined it all in your first name. <laughs> Okay, so once again, I'm going to take off that white and feather the edge. Now, we probably will, won't need to rip into this one as much because it's kind of going to go right on the center. But we'll test it out. Can you guys hear all of that in the background? <laughs> Probably, Sue. So since that's going to go right on the center, as I'm pushing it down, there's not really any bubbling that's happened where it's wanting to crease. So that's going to be fine just to put it right down on there. It probably is because he follows him around. It's so funny. He follows him around everywhere. Because Nick works graveyard, so most of the time... When we're up, you know, he's sleeping with the exception of the weekend. So when he's up and doing stuff, Troy's just, he follows him everywhere. <laughs> All right. So we'll get him right in the center. And see, I think this one would be super pretty to put some of the red galaxy inside of it. All right. But I have pulled out a bunch of stuff. So if there's anything that you guys have been wanting to see or use, let me know because we can play. I've got six baubles we can play with. My sound is back to normal today, just saying. Yeah, I don't know. 
I haven't, again, still haven't changed anything. The only thing I did do the other day was I took off the um, noise cancellation in the background. That's why you guys could hear my dryer the other day. Because I was thinking if that would do anything, but today it's on, so it's the same thing. All right, so let's find um, a pretty frame, and we'll do the glass etching maybe last, because um, I have a bunch of uh, stencils and whatnot that we can do the glass etching with. Let's see if we want to, because I think these frames will probably be a little bit too small on him. So maybe we just, let's see. Oh, I know. Let's just do the outside of this one. So this is the IOD mold frames. So let's just get the outside of that and put it on. So I'm just going to get some of my, thank you, Beth, the Jovi clay. Let's take that off of there now. So you guys know my favorite clay is the Jovi clay. I am just going to take that middle there. Um, if your preference is to use cornstarch, you could do that. I don't use cornstarch. I use baby oil. If you do use baby oil, though, make sure it's a very, very, very tiny amount. So I just have a little calligraphy. And literally, I just put in three drops in there. And then I'm going to take that and put it around. So I don't want the inside of that frame. I just literally want the out, the outer edge there. And then if you're having, a, if you have a real intricate mold that you're, yeah, I always use baby oil. I personally do not like um, cornstarch because I don't like how it pulls the moisture out of the clay. The only time that I use um, cornstarch is with the, uh, the DOS clay when it's a brand new package. Because um, that one tends to be very, very... Um, wet but i don't use that anymore i use the jovi um but yeah i never i don't use i don't use cornstarch all right so now i'm just going to take my palette knife and come out and and we probably will have to cut you know the inside to clean it up because there's a little bit of like beading around that frame that I'll want. All right, so let's put this back in there. Are you saying really to me, Therese? Like really as far as the um, baby oil? And then bend and roll. All right, so let's... You see that beading I was talking about? <laughs> Onyx. So I'm just going to come in here and trim out the middle. And then I will smooth that edge down with some water. I'll dip my finger in clean water that I have on my desk. And then I'll smooth out that edge. On X. You can make me change the TV. 
You guys, she sits on the ottoman and just watches the TV. Oh, that she'd never heard of baby oil. Yeah, I only use baby oil. Okay. So now I'm actually, I can't get, oh, I guess I could. I'm going to dip my finger in there and then I'm just going to, just to smooth out that, that edge so it's not so choppy from the, um, and then I pulled it apart right there, but that's okay. All right. Now I'm going to get my heavy body gel. Let's put him, actually the um, bubble wrap is helping not these not move around so much. So you got the hiccups, Troy. All right, so. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I cut it right there on accident or I pulled it apart. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to take my heavy body gel in the glossy. <laughs> you guys see what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, of course. I thought it was going to be hard to open. And then I'm just going to take one of my smaller palette knives. She is, she's, she's so smart. And she, it doesn't matter if it's um, a commercial or what, but anytime she sees any type of animal, dog, cat, deer, anything, lions, you know, if the, the, whatever we're watching has she starts going crazy she just she cracks me up she just sits there and just watches tv <laughs> man look how well she cut the <laughs> okay so now let's get this baby on there and let me get this off my hands and then I'm going to get my silicone brush and then kind of, I got to tip it up a little bit to see if it's straight because you know, gonna, it's going to be crooked. Look at how pretty that's going to be on there. Okay. And then I'm going to take my silicone brush after I make sure it's all pushed down. And then I'm just going to come in here and get off the excess of the heavy body gel. And here on the outside too. So yeah, so if I didn't send you, I tried to send invites um, out for the, the Zoom class, but if I didn't send you an invite and you just want you know to get information please just message me and I'll send you send it to you you know what I'm also doing now is I'm using my the point of the silicone brush and I'm smoothing down that edge that I was trying to get to with my finger this is it's perfect for that because it doesn't you know make any divots in the clay or anything. Look at how pretty that is. And then let's just make sure everything is pushed down. And then we'll put this one to the side for a bit because I'm pretty sure this clay will dry enough for us to work with it in a little bit. Oh yeah, so if you, um. I got a bunch more. Usually I try to give away in my, um, in some of my Happy Mail. I try to give away like brushes and um, the brush guards. And if I have, which I do have more now, 
I try to stick in a silicone brush in there too for you guys because I know some of you guys either haven't had been able to find them or you know what have you okay so for our next one let's get on another one my cat saw birds and one flew off the screen and she ran to find it it was oh my gosh you know what's funny so nick was in the room and he put it on like a youtube video or something which had dogs on it she was like Oh my, barking at the screen, came from the back of the house, came to the front, looked at the TV to see if they were out here on the TV, and she they weren't here, so then she ran back, and then she came back, and he asked me, he goes, is she, is she looking at the TV out there? And I go, yeah, why, what are you doing? And she goes, uh, he, he says, I, she was watching um, the dogs on the computer, so she came out to see if they were out here. Hi, babe. Seven. Are you leaving now? Yeah. Treachery's not going to follow you no more. Okay, love you. Well, Chocha is always out here to say hello to everybody, but I told him that you, since you're here, he's you're up. He's following you everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Gwen. Miriam, congratulations! <gasps> Miriam hit 1,000 today, y'all. How awesome is that? If you're not following Miriam, Chameleon Decoupage by Miriam, you need to. She's amazing. She is now one of my teammates on the Royal Court as well. She has joined us. Um, but yeah, she hit 1,000 today. So awesome. I'm so, so excited for you. You followed her today, Jill? That's awesome. So, yes, if you are not following our lovely Miriam, go over and follow her. She also has Telegram. Sign up for her Telegram. You're going to love her. She's she's just the best. But I was so excited for her. Um, i seen that she hit it today. So Okay, so this one. Let's do... <laughs> All three of them are at the window trying to see Nick leave. So that's what all the ruckus is right now. Okay. I seen one of the <clears throat> Holly Glens that I thought would look super cute on a, I think he was a squirrel. Oh, look at these though. How cute would that look? Here, the doe or the bunny, but I seen it was a squirrel. I'm pretty sure him. Look at that one, y'all. Yeah, they're all at the window. That's why Jacqueline, because he was getting mad because Onyx was there. Because God forbid Onyx should. Oh, he's a little bit too big. His tail won't make it unless we don't get. No, we need the holly. Oh, do we want a possum? I think we have to go back to the, the little cute deer. That one's adorable. I know I like the squirrel. Squirrel! <laughs> oh, my God, Beth. Um, I like him, but look, y'all, he's a little bit, <laughs> he's a little bit too, he's a little bit too big. We would, we would miss like the little, you guys hear the Nick's car. We would miss his little, um, the little berries. What a brat. You guys can't hear that, can you? What a brat. Okay. And also, because we still have, besides this, we have three more. We haven't used the cute little um, fairy Merry Christmas yet. So these little gals have a background, though. 
<laughs> I'm still laughing at Beth. Oh, look at how cute. What about her? Oh, doggone it. Oh, well, we, we might have to use her and she might have to lose some of her um, mushrooms. Okay, so let's take the little, the little, yeah, he, he, vroom, right on out of here. He has a, a stingray, Corvette stingray, and he, yeah. All right, so because these are very thin glass, when you are putting um, these transfers on, or if you put a transfer on, just be really, 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 really mindful of that and careful. Yeah, see, because I, um, I canceled out all the background. Okay, I am actually, you guys know I like to use my transfer tool but I'm going to actually use one of the small plastic because I can get a lot of leverage off of that tool. And you guys will probably see glass break right before your eyes because, you know, that would be something that I did on a live. Okay, so let's put, oh, she's going to look pretty. Let's put her ears up close to the top. And right there. Okay, so since this is glass and it's a transfer, what I'm going to recommend when you do these is that you don't push it all down at one time because it's the same thing. It's a curved surface. So it's, you know, it's going to want to buckle in some places. But if you kind of do a little bit at a time. I don't know if you guys remembered when I did the globe. Um, it ended up working out, but I just had to go really slow. And because it is a glass, it's coming off really easily. Oh, it looks like the very tip of the ear is not on. There it goes. What happened? I'm removing the outer green shell from there. My hands are stained. What did you do to your hands, Miriam? What'd you use? I didn't see your last live. Did you <laughs> did you stain your hands? Okay. And actually, after we get this one down, I need to do the step two of the opal varnish. Hi, Tina. Oh, you just picked fresh pecans. Oh, okay. I thought you did something on your live. How are you, Tina? Okay, you guys usually can't see this when I'm doing something um, because it's always usually on a white background. Can you guys see that there is a very distinct halo all the way around her from the transfer? There's a halo. That's what your burnishing pad comes in handy for. 
not only are you going to use your burnishing pad to make sure that it's set all the way down, right? But the burnishing pad will also help get that halo so it's not so prominent around her. So it this is especially helpful like on a um on the darker pieces like if you have a you know black background mm. or um you know brown anything like that when mm. you use the burnishing mm. pad it helps get rid of that mm. halo. Mm. Mm. I know you're going to be uh, messing with me now because uncle's gone. Huh. See? So it just gets rid of that prominent halo that's around it. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Yeah, halo edge everywhere. So that's what your burnishing pad is there for. Not only help you to make sure, because you definitely don't want any air bubbles, especially on a curved surface, you want to make sure that you don't have any air bubbles because if you do, your um, transfer will dry out and then it'll lift. Okay. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so let's put that one aside. We'll put that one over here. Let's get our... We need to not do that mm -hmm. just yet. So I'm going to open up the step two. Mm -hmm. And as always, clean, dry brushes. It, it's backwards, baby. Look it. Look, Pops. See there's a circle right there and a circle right here. You put the circles together, baby. Okay? All right. So I was looking like, where did I put this? I know, right? It's so precious. Okay. So now we're going to come again. I came up to the edge of the paper. So let's get to the edge again. And I did come up to the top here. And then down the back side. Don't fall off of there. Okay, so now we will put this back again in the holder until this dries and then you guys can see Stay. <laughs> Is there anything? Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, Stay. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, Is it pudding time? Oh, it won't break apart for you. All right. If you're new here, you know we have pudding time. Every live, it's usually pudding time. Okay. There you go, bud. Okay, hi, Lynn. You didn't realize I was on? <laughs> Are you, do you have Telegram, Lynn? Because I sent the Telegram. Okay, so now we've done that one. Do we want another one with the bunny? Or the should we do the bunny or should we do one of the fairies? If we do, I'm thinking her, but we won't get all of, like, the greenery. Yep, PT time. Pudding time. Thank you, Jamie. Because then we'll move more on, after we get everything down on these and we'll start doing, um, you know, stencils and all that good stuff. Let me know what you think, fairy, bunny. Say what? Teresa, are you messing with me again?
Always fairies. Hi, Patty. How are you? Okay, let's do a fairy. Since we have a deer, let's do a fairy. All right. So I'm going to take her here at the bottom because this one, I like this one, but I like how we can see her a little more. It's like she's a little closer. Okay. So let's get that one. Oh, boy. Can't do that. <laughs> Are you back again? Okay, bud. Give it to me, son. Did you get a spoon this time? There you go, bubs. Bubbas. No, 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 no. That's got flowers in it. I know you thought that was a, a case. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Well, look on it. It's going to wrap down to the bottom. It'll end up getting covered because we're going to put trim on it, but that's okay. Uh, no, I bet not, Patty. I bet not. No, I bet not. Okay, let's get... Y'all, I can't wait to go to the eye doctor. <laughs> I'm telling you. Where did my little clear thing go? Oh, with the burnishing pad. All right. She's got a cute little face. Because then what I was thinking is we could do, you know how there's those oh, the, the hat boxes. Like I have a, the regular circular hat box or I have a, the squares or even a heart. I thought it might be cute to like decorate the box and then have the ornaments sitting in there. Like if you were going to give it as a gift or something. So, you know, just something extra. Okay. You did too, Carol? <laughs> Miriam, are you freaking out because you can't get it off? Do you have um you have the scrubby soap, don't you, Miriam? Use the 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 sponge part of the scrubby soap and try to <laughs> to scrub it with that. Get her other wing up here. the rest of her body is down before I pull that up. Okay. And then again, you can see that there is a big halo around her. So we're going to use the burnishing pad. And you, if you do not have a burnishing pad and you get it, you might think that, wow, that's a little abrasive. It's going to mess up my, my transfers. But it, it absolutely does not. It does not damage your transfer at all. It just helps, you know, get all the air out and get rid of a lot of that halo. Oh my goodness, Miriam. <laughs> Look at how pretty. Oh, my goodness. She's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more of that halo off up here. And we will seal these as well. 
Okay, so right now we have four of them. I think, I mean, I don't know what else we can do, but I did pull out some stencils. Um, I actually just pulled this out just for the words. I don't know, you know, if we want to use any of that. This is a snip art. And then we have this one, but also, because we'll need to do any stencil work or anything like that before we put on the trim, like around the edges. Um, we have the diamonds, which would look cute, but I wanted to use, where did it go? There it is. Now, again, because it is a curved surface, are we going to get a really good, um, you know, is it going to go down evenly? Probably not, but it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I don't know. We might pull off, pull this out, too. Oh, yes, Patty. And also check because I have the um, Micah Daughters link. I know that she's already starting her Black Friday sales. So you might check to see if any of the transfers are on there. Whoa. Oh, I could put that in. Okay. So what I'd like to do is, because what we're going to do is put um, some type of trim or something but look at how pretty this stencil is. So this one is Dainty and the Queen, and this is Luminous. Um, so one of the ones that Yvetta has designed. But I thought this would be pretty here on the back. Again, we're not going to get great contact, but just even having hints of it down I think would be pretty. And we can actually use, on this one, we can use the opal gel. Uh, did I hear Micah Daughters didn't have the candy lamp? I think, um, I think Sue looked and she didn't. The angel is from the fairy Merry Christmas. So angel is fairy Merry Christmas. And then the critters is Holly Glenn. So, je definitely check um, Micah Daughters. Um, if Micah Daughters doesn't have, because like I said, I got an email from her saying that they were starting their Black Friday sales, I think yesterday. Um, yesterday, a day before yesterday, maybe Friday. And then um, Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara, this doggone fly. Did you see that? And also Rap City Art Barn or uh, My Victorian Heart. They're all, um, oh no, My Victorian Heart. I'm sorry. She, yes, she is an IOD stockist. Sorry, got to get confused sometimes. Okay, so again, we're not going to get great contact, but I just want to get some of it down and actually i am going to take not engine enamel i am going to take some of the repositional tacky spray from eileen's and i'm just going to give it just a little bit okay brenda have a good night Hi, Betty. Okay, so I just put a little bit of the tack spray on. And what I'm doing is I want to line up one of the, the stars here. And I don't want it, don't care for it to be perfect. Where's my favorite? Oh, it's really down here. I don't care for it to be perfect. I just want it to just have some type of texture 
on the back here. So. Mm. 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 Hold on, mm. Pops. Hold on, Troy. <laughs> Just gonna kind of push down in there. I see you coming. And then get this one here. And then, like I said, we will also use some of the new pretty deluxe paste. Um, those can be put right on the glass. But just to give it some, some texture in the back, because this one we will put some of the um, galaxy flakes inside. because you'll be able to see them, obviously the transfer. You'll still be able to see all of the flakes in there. Okay. Yay! So again, is it perfect? No, but I don't care for it to be. I'm just going to scrape that off. Hi, Missy. How are you? Troy, Troy, Missy says hi to you. <laughs> hi, Carol. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to get my stencil just wiped off really quickly right now. Um, and then I will take it over to the sink afterwards. But, you know, just because your stencils will stay good for a long, long time. Just make sure you take care of them. And then actually I'm going to, I have my stencil spray, which if you have anything on your stencils that you think are never ever gonna get clean, if you use this, it's a Pentart stencil spray, I guarantee you that some of the stuff that you thought were on your sprint, uh, stencils for the rest of its life, this will get it off. So if you just spray a little bit on there, let it sit for like five or 10 minutes and wipe it off, it's good. Okay, let me show you if you can see that stencil. Again, it's very pretty. Okay, so let's see. Oh yes, look at that, y'all. Can you see the opal? Can you see the cracks or no? I don't think you can, can you? Hold on. I'm trying to get the light to hit it right so you can see the cracks. I don't think you can. It's almost dry. Um, and then we'll get some antique paste on there. She has lots on sale. Yes. Oh, I know, Jamie, right? Isn't the best? It, the best, Jamie, I was on last night when you were watching Beth and you were, no water, no water. <laughs> when she did that, I took, I gasped for air. I went, oh no, oh no. Luckily, I think, God bless you, son. Luckily, I think that that, um, what she was using was thick enough that the water, the, the baby wipe didn't hit the fine line crackle. But yeah, as soon as she did it, I went, no, don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay, so this pretty baby, let's put, so I did pull out um, some Would You Been trim um, just to make it easier for us to paint today. Um, you can also use, um, you know, if you have like a rope mold like this one, um, you know, or any of these, the uh, Prima trims, 
um, any of these that would look beautiful on here as well. But just for the sake of being able to paint it and do all the things now, I'm going uh, to use the wood you bin. Be careful because this is the glass, thin glass. So I was going to tell her if Terry was watching you, just gave her a heart. I was watching. I was. Wa I just didn't say anything. I was watching and I had a heart attack. I went, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> and I heard Brandy read. No water, no water. And I was like, oh my gosh, somebody please. Uh, what am I doing with uh, this baby? Uh, uh, I don't need to charge my phone, love bug, but if you want me to charge this. You're back, Helen? Awesome. Okay, so what do you guys think? We have this one that, um, it, and then this one kind of looks like a, like, um, flat backs. And then this one that has a little bit of the scrolls. So we have one, two, or three. Can you guys even see three? We've used three before. Let me take it out. We've used this one before. Three. So this was three. I don't know if you guys could even see it because it was in the. There it goes. So this one is three. It has a lot of like the scrolls. This one more gives me like a flat back, like almost like flat back pearls. Hi, Colleen. How are you? And then this one is just um, almost like a what a rope. Well, Three, you guys like this one? Okay, so this one is TR739.1. You guys know the point ones um, don't have as much as, so if it was a 739, it's the same one, but it, it has more um, than the point ones. So, oh my goodness, Colleen. Thank you. Everybody says number three. Okay. So let's put. Goodness. Let's um, heat this up and see how much we're going to need. Then we'll actually paint this off of that because um, I'm going to, I want to leave this one clear and I want to put in some of the galaxy flames. Is Martin here? I didn't even see him. Hi, Martin. See, how are you? Good evening. Uh, oh, Colleen, I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, 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 I seen the Christmas tree uh, that Mike was doing. Uh, 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 so cute. Okay, I can't. I I can't see you, baby. You always sit right there, and I can't see you. So I'm just going to kind of gauge how much of this we're going to need. You guys know I'll always cut it just a little longer anyways. So let's cut this. Oh, no. I dropped my blade. Goodness gracious, how many scissors have I lost? Just... Right now. Okay, so I'm going to coil this back to store this. Did you really, Trees? Well, I seen that Beth and Randy were like, they had, did their whole outside, and Beth had some amazing um, trees already up in her background. I'm I still am not, not feeling it yet, y'all. I need to get it together because the next thing you gonna, you know, it's going to be Christmas and I'm going to be like, I'm not feeling it yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flatten this one out. I think what I'd like to do with this is paint it um, 
one of the metallic greens. I think that'll be super pretty. Let's do either just the regular green or the golden touch. Or, oh man, shoot. Or the white gold, which is always a favorite because it pulls the green. I think white gold. I saw Justin cross block another tree outside this year, blue. Yes. Oh my goodness. I, he didn't see my comment, but I was like, oh my word, you're going to be sneezing flock forever. And then he started spray painting and I was like, it's going to be blue flock that you're sneezing. <laughs> Look at that. You can see that color. So this is the delicate metallics. Um, this is the one that pulls the green, but it's white gold. The color is white gold. Oh, it was absolutely hilarious. You were working on um, Christmas, Miss Edie? Decorations? After I get gifts wrapped, I want the tree up. He actually said, go for it. Oh, wow. Dana, you were watching too? Wasn't that the best? Oh, my God. Because especially like on our left side. So the wind was coming in and he'd throw it up and it would whoosh, right back at him. I was like, oh, mama mia. <laughs> that is going to be. You're going to have sneezing that stuff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but how awesome is that, that he does that his, himself, though? I would, I... That's, well, I wouldn't have the area to do something like that, but I just love him. He just makes me, this is the white gold, the delicate metallics white gold. It's the one that has that, um, the green tinge. It's so pretty. But yeah, every time I either watch Justin or I talk to Justin, he just, he just makes me smile. He just, he's one of those, you know, that just, he's got such an awesome personality, just so kind, but he just, just makes me smile. Seems like he's always having fun at whatever he's doing. Yep. And it kept falling down. <laughs> I nearly peed last year when he blocked the red tree. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to dry this a bit. And as it's drying, it'll also be heating it up. And then we'll get some of the tight bond and get it on the. On the ornament. And his noises, y'all. His noises. Are, oh, oh, help me. Help me. Oh, <laughs> what? Aw, thank you, Helena. But yeah, it's just his noises are just even just so great. But the, <laughs> oh, help me. Help me. <laughs> just like, what are you doing? Yes, he is. It took a few of us while to get him to go live, but I mean, if he's successful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He deserves it and then some. 
All right. So let's get this on the edge here. I can feel that it's already going to start cooling on me. So and moving. So I don't have it scooting all over the place and getting glue on even more places than it needs to be. I'm just going to heat it a little by little and go around. Okay. Um, I don't know if he did. Uh, I know that he messaged me one night. Um, and asked if, oops, see, it's split right there. Um, and asked if I could help him look at something because he does the lives for, um, you know, for me on DQ. But um, we weren't posting, we weren't reposting anything of his. Um, so, and then I, I just, I actually, Carol, I've, forgotten to ask him about it since then. Um, he sent, he showed me the message that they sent him and said it could be fixed. He just needed to figure out what video it was that was holding him up. Oh, okay, Brenda. Well, thank you for hopping on. I hope she's doing doing okay you're so lost i'm sorry all right so obviously this snapped so i'm just going to fit it right back where it needs to go and then i will get my blade that i dropped on the ground cut off that little bit all right now you know i always tell you that when you have wood you bend you need to heat it back up to make sure that it's adhering to your project but make sure because if you're doing this on the glass you don't want the glass to get too hot so just keep it moving And don't, you know, don't leave it on there for too long. All right. I really do like this green with this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. Don't tell me that I had you all the way in. <laughs> it's like all up. I'm all up in your face. Okay. Uh... And then we will clean off. Some of this excess tight bond. And we will put a um, put varnish on her because it is a uh, transfer. Got glue on my fingers. I thought my eyes went funny. No, <laughs> you were all just really, really, really close, Martin. <laughs> I just had you all the way in. Okay, so I'm going to get some of my isopropyl alcohol and just a cotton bud to get off where the um, where it was scooting around when I first started. I'm going to clean that off. I think it was just right here, right? Oh, a little bit right here, too. Okay. A little bit down here. I don't know if you guys notice. I did flip it around and paint the backside 
because you're going to be able to see it. Okay, so now I'm just going to get a little bit of the Liquitex. Just because it is a transfer, you need to go over your transfers. So I'm not going to get wild and crazy because I don't want it all over the glass just on the transfer itself. All right, how cute she looks. Where did my, um, okay, and then I want to, I call those Q-tips them called cotton buds. Cotton buds are a crafter's best friend. Yes, they are, especially the the ones that are pointed, not the not the regular round ones that you use for your ears. The precision tipped ones. I don't know, that's just what they call them. Okay. So now I do want to take some of I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we put the Red in there, or should we put the green in there? Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the red. Pointed? Yeah. What do you mean, wood? These are the best. These are better when you're crafting, because then you can, you know get into like the little areas the areas the areas i also have you guys remember i have all of my um um shakeums the shakeums would be cute in there too you know the ones that i get from the map mix palette purple sparkle Pur purple sparkle Is that one too big? That one's too big. Okay, let's put this one in there. <laughs> He's hilarious. Actually, just kind of looking. Because we want to, don't want it like all the way full, right? But just so that there's something like if it were to spin around or something. But I'm thinking I need to get out all of my um. Shakeums from the mixed palette because that would be super cute in there with all of the little candy canes and everything else that she puts in there. Oh my goodness. So that's the green. Mix it. Why do you want to delete the comment? Don't delete the comment. Go 
don't be silly. Um. No, don't mix it. Look at how pretty that is behind it, though. Let's put a little bit more. No, don't mix it, Colleen. And then we'll put the top on. Of course, we're, we'll put ribbons and stuff, you know. Tie a couple of ribbons on it and whatnot. Because these particular um, flakes, I don't tend to like them like we would use them on, like, um, the foil flakes. I find them to be, like, very, um, I don't know, thick, chunky. I guess it just depends on the project, but I just, they, they aren't what I would like to use on... Uh, you know, as far as like in, in place of like a foil flake, because they just feel they're so chunky. Look at how pretty. And then this is in the back. And see, I think it would be super cute if there were like a couple like little candy canes or something in there. Yeah, they're they are crispy. That's exactly what they are. They're like so and it's they're super they don't lay flat so it's hard i don't know i don't know when you would ever use them i'm sure there's a time and place to use them but i just don't i haven't found a project to use them on yet in in its natural you know state with just like glue or something i don't know that's just me so that is this one and we're still have to do like bows and ribbons and whatnot from it but um oh you do jill oh good okay so yeah so if it's just like you know hanging going around on the tree there's something on the back because you very well could put transfers or something on the back too but i think she's pretty just like that okay so let's hang her right here so she doesn't no troy troy will get her <laughs> let me put her over here <laughs> okay Let's get this one down. I, I see the time. I'm not in a hurry today, but if you all need to leave, um, I understand. I know that I am a crafter that takes forever to do anything. So if you need to go, I won't get my feelings hurt or anything. <laughs> you can see them, right? Hi, Vicky. How are you? So there's a little wet spot right there. I do have the dryer on very, very low heat. Mine, I can adjust it. Um, so I'm trying to see if we can get that spot out of there. If not, we'll just move on. Hi, Cheryl. Okay. We'll go ahead and just move on. There is a little spot. It will dry, you know, down. But if you can see, so that crackle varnish gives it, um, what is it called, y'all? Gosh. My brain sometimes. I'm here as long as you are. Aw. Right? It's so pretty. It's super pretty, and it's just a little different, um, you know. And then you can come in with a antiquing paste of your choice. And I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys what we have. Frosted, but there's another word for it. Opaque, yeah, but no, there's an actual word for it. For <laughs> Okay, 
So if you remember, we have him on the front. He's pulling, um, he's pulling reds. Are you guys okay? You're very quiet. So if you guys, we haven't used this in a while. We have the antique paste as the antique coffer. Opalescent. Thank you. That's it. Opalescent. Thank you, Carol and Sue. So we can do this on here. Um, so we have the antique copper. We also have a brass. Obviously, I haven't used this one yet. Actually, I think I have. This is my second one. We have a brass. We have the gold that I love. And then, of course, we have also just the white. And then we have my the umbra, which you guys know I probably will use the umbra anyways and mix it with the color. So, I don't know. We have the antique copper, which is that beautiful red. Um, this is actually brass, and that's gold. Antique copper. The fire gold, I think you mean, um, because fire gold looks like this in the, um, powder. Wow. Yeah. Words are hard today. Antique copper. In the pigment. In the pigment, we have fire gold, which is that color. I know what I, I know, I know. Oh, mama mia. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of the, um, hi. I didn't know you were over there. Hi, handsome. Hi, bye -bye. <laughs> You're so quiet. So I'm going to take a little bit of the umbra. And I'm going to come around our guy here, which again, we are going to put something around him. I don't know, maybe a frame. Maybe we just make a frame around him with some clay. Maybe we use some of the wood you bin. All right. And then I'm going to come just around here. Because it's not going to take that, the, um, the opalescent, it's not going to, you know, cover it, but look at how pretty it gives it that. Hi, Deidre. How are you? Ooh, Patty, that sounds pretty. Okay. So now let's go in with this beautiful antique copper. Are we ready for this? Such a beautiful color. And I'm actually going to come up around the top of it too. And come in with my and as always, if you want to, you know, you could wipe back as much as you want, apply as much as you want. Totally up to you and your personal preference. Let's see. I don't know if we could tell because of all my lights there. If I go like that. And I'm going to come over a little bit of that 
umbra that I did here in the front. And go over it. Just the excess that's on my brush. Such a pretty color. And then come through again. Again, that looks so distracting, but once it's dried down, it will dry just like this. But can you guys see? I'm trying to get away from the light so you can see the cracks. So pretty. Okay, I'm not going to put it on the face for right now. I also think it would be pretty just to take a smaller brush in the gold because the gold always just It'll mix in with that antique copper color. I'm not putting it everywhere. I'm just kind of going, oh my goodness, look at that. You're going to a craft weekend next weekend. We're going to be doing a Christmas bobble. It's in Newbridge. Just, ooh, that sounds fun. And I'm not going to wipe back as much as I would. I'm just going to kind of leave a lot of that because I didn't put a lot of the gold on there. It does, right? It does, Trees. So pretty. Okay, and then we have to see, again, what we want to put around it. Now, we still have all of the trims that I showed you from before, but I think let's do a different trim. You got to get it for me, love bug. Because this is him on the front. So... Let's take off the glass baubles, Terry, before they all go flying. I scare myself sometimes, y'all. And see if we see a trim that... just screams that needs to go around him. Troy, Troy. <laughs> Come this way, love. Come this way. It is, right? Because just it just gives it just a little bit. Um goodness, this kid. It gives it just a little bit. I love you too, son. What did you do? Did you do something? Why you say I love you for? Oh, Lord be. Okay, let's just do a simple trim around this. One of these. All right. Betty says hi. It wants something delicate. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this one, but it looks almost like, uh, it reminds me of kind of like a branch, but it has like little, I don't know what it is, if it's little flowers and vines or whatnot, but let's do some of that and see what that one looks like. 
So once again, I am going to get, <clears throat> must have threw it in the doggone water. Let's get a little couple drops of the baby oil out, move some of this out of the way. And I also think that I want to put some um, of the art stones like around this too, but we'll see. Uh oh, don't look, mom. I know, right? He comes over here and he's like, uh, uh, well, you know, the one finger, love you. What do you mean? You haven't been over here. You're pretty quiet and whatever you're doing. I love you too, but what did you do? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take that baby oil and, uh huh, what did you do? Okay, I'll come in just a minute. I'm going to put this around here and then I will, bud. Yeah, I got to wait a minute. I'll come see what you did. I will. I will come see what you did. So once again, I'm just going to take some of the Dolby clay, roll it out into, yep, see? He's like, mmm, mmm. So we'll roll this one out and then we'll let this dry. So I'm just going to push this in there. But he's poor. You guys, earlier today, I... I asked him, I said, um, I've never seen your workspace so cluttered, Terry, mine as always. I know, it's driving me nuts. You see, I keep pushing, but it's not working. It's not working. As I push, it, see, it comes back. <laughs> All right. Uh... I keep pushing it away and it just keeps coming back to me. Uh, 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 so now I'm just uh, going to dip my uh, finger in a little bit of water. Hold on, Pops. Uh, I'm almost done, son. Uh, Papas. Uh, you are handing me everything, everything at one time. I only have two hands. I got two hands, the left and the right. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Troy, really? Now you're going to laugh because you think it's funny. All right. I just dipped my finger mm -hmm. in water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. have it. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. I've noticed that it had a little bit of a dip right there. So I put in a little bit more. Oh. Goodness, y'all. Oh, my gosh, Lynn. Troy, I don't know what you're pointing at. Lynn, she unwrapped all of the Christmas presents. Oh, my word. Uh, That's what I was wondering uh, if I needed a little bit more. Uh, Thank you, Troy. Uh, 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 Was it a lot of Christmas presents? I don't even know what to say, Lynn. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh.
He didn't unwrap all the presents, Dana, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Holy girl. Oh, Lordy B, holy girl. Okay, let's put some heavy body gel on that. And then we will finish the rest of this uh, tomorrow. We will. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I will go see what Troy's doing. I'm coming, son. I know everybody is go is curious as to what you've done, cause good cuggly muggly. I can only imagine you and Holly girl are on the same wavelength, though. You're up to something. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and basically roll it on there. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. And see, I, 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 Christmas wrapping gifts are not the funnest, right? Because I don't know. First of all, it's hard for me to get up off of the ground once I'm down, down there. And then your, my back is hurting because you're wrapping all these gifts. It's taking forever. And then I do like, you know, everybody has a special tag or something on there. And so, I, oh my word, I, if I could, that's what I'm afraid of though. I'm not afraid of Troy doing it. I'm afraid that Onyx is going to get at the gifts this year. It's my fault. It's only about 15 gifts. I should have known she was so quiet. I thought maybe she was winding down and playing. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. Mm. Okay. I will get it for you in a second, son. Is that what you want? Is the charger you found that? Is that all you did? Because I'm not trusting that's all you did. Because you came over here with the whole I love you thing. Mm. I know. Mm. Okay, guys. So mm. tomorrow we will paint this mm. one. Mm. We will paint this one mm. and also do some mm. stuff to the back of that. Mm. Mm. And then we also mm. have, hold on, son. You are going cuckoo. Then we also have the etching that we did with the stencil to complete and go around her. So, and then I don't know, maybe I'll do um, these other two off camera and then see, um, and then I'll finish them up with you guys tomorrow. We've all made assumptions at some time. <laughs> I have still send to go, but I buy more. Oh, I, yep. Will it not shrink as it dries? Deidre, it will shrink a little bit, but it, um, first of all, it's down with the heavy body gel. The only place that it's going to shrink is probably right here at this connector. And when it does that, that's when I always use the um, texture paste from Ranger. And then I'll fill in wherever it does. So if it shrinks up here at the neck, I will use this as well. But I won't do this until tomorrow just so you guys can see what happens um, when it, if it does shrink. But it won't that much. Um, but typically all clay does shrink just a little bit. Uh, but this, it won't do it too much. Uh, but I'll, I always do use, that's my favorite to use is the Ranger, um, texture paste. I just, it has the, a good consistency. So, so we'll finish up the three of them because this one, and we'll probably do, well, we actually still have to do bows and, you know, some bling on that one too. So there's still quite a bit to do, but. Anyhow, uh, uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. We had a little, another long one today, but, you know, Fridays and Sundays, I don't really try to rush too much because, mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. I just feel mm -hmm. there's not so much going on with people, um, other lives and stuff. But I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Um, I still have two more baubles. I will probably do something to them or get stuff ready to put on them. But we'll finish up tomorrow with the baubles. And then I'll also pull out 
um, either the hat box, the circle one, the heart one, or the square one. I'll just see which one fits them better, and then we'll do something to, to the box as well. But anyhow, thank you for being here. I'm really afraid to go around the corner, but I'll tell you tomorrow what he did. Because <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be fun. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you for being here, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you soon.